Hello everyone, I'm Carmen from the Featherweight Shop. Today we're going to talk about LED bulbs. Now everyone would like a bulb that's nice and bright for their featherweight and also one that doesn't burn you. But there's a lot of options. There's many choices on the market today for LED bulbs. And so we've got some sockets here and today we're going to test out these bulbs and see if we can't clear up some of that confusion. Okay, let's walk through the progression of these LED bulbs throughout the last couple years. The first bulb we carried was this one right here. It had a hard uh, shell on it. And as you, many of you remember, this was a first generation of LEDs when they first came out. And so these were quite pricey. But with supply and demand and more manufacturers making them, the price came down pretty quickly. The next we started carrying was this bulb right here. Uh, the issue with this bulb is it did not work in all featherweights and it did not work especially in this white featherweight. So we uh, quickly worked with the manufacturer to get one that would work in all featherweights. Now these two bulbs right here we have never carried, uh, but they are popular on the market today and the issue is that they do not work in all featherweights. Next we have this bulb and this is the one that we currently carry. It works in all featherweights and it's available in two colors, basically a bright white and then a warm white. This one here we'll show you in a second is more like an incandescent bulb in the light that it puts off. Okay, this socket here for a 221, uh, it takes this double bayonet bulb, means it has these two posts that stick out here. It goes in these slots and then it turns and that's what locks it in place in those slots. There's two pins down inside there, not sure if you can see that on the camera, but those two pins that stick up, they have springs behind them, and they compress against these two connection points on there, and that's how the electricity flows through that. Now, one thing to remember is a lot of these sockets have had a bulb sitting in them for 50, 60 years, and those springs have kind of become compressed, and therefore this a bulb is, is kind of wobbly in there and it can even cause it to flicker. But these can be replaced. Uh, the socket can be replaced. The issue that we find is with the white in particular, when you try to put a bulb in like this that has a flange on it, when it goes in, it bottoms out and you can't turn it. So it goes in and it can't turn because it doesn't go in all the way. When you put the one in there without a flange, it's got lots of room to go in and turn and it stays and works just fine. Okay, this is the light housing on a standard black 221 featherweight. Uh, this is the bright white bulb. They go in, give it a little turn and um, you can see that's the bright white. The next is the warm white and you can see it's it's kind of more like an incandescent bulb in the color that it puts off now we've got power to this white light uh, housing for a white featherweight uh, the bulb goes in and you can see this one that we carry here there the flange is not there it goes in works perfectly with this but with this style here uh, this little flange is what is causing the problem. When it goes in, it, 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 it bottoms out on the socket and you can't turn it. And same thing with this little guy here. When you put it in, you can get it to come on by pushing in on it, but you can't turn it so that it'll stay in. So it does not work for a white featherweight. The last style to show you here is uh, a, a, a light housing off of a 222 or it could even be a 221K. It has the light switch up on top. So when you put the bulb in there, it still is a, it takes the same bulb. It goes in and just a slight turn and then you can turn the light, flip the switch and it comes on. Now these bulbs right here, we carry them in both a 110 volt and a 220. So 110 volt would be for North America and 220 would be for everyone else. And so you can click on the drop down menu uh, when you're ordering these. You can click on the drop down menu and choose either 110 or 220. And then both are also available in a either bright white or warm. We also carry this bulb in a uh, screw in base that's not for a featherweight, but some of your other old uh, vintage sewing machines 
would take a screw-in bulb and so you can get an LED bulb uh, for those machines as well. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any further questions, feel free to call us here at the Featherweight Shop, send us an email, or post a question on Facebook. Have a great day.